Welcome back to the Flybug Podcast. Today you got your biggest, bestest host, Sincere, host of the Flybug Podcast. Today I am joined with co-host Marcos. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell notification. We appreciate y'all truly. I like how you finished my sentences for me. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen like the lady in the tramp? The the movie with the dog? Yeah, and the spaghetti. I would never say like, that. <laughs> I would never say that. No. Speaking of dogs. We got a nationwide crisis. I didn't know mm. this. Haitians are eating dogs. Haitians? Eating cats and dogs. Specifically? Haitians are in Springfield, Ohio. Wait, wait, wait. Like, they just popped up there one day? Bro, I just found out about this <laughs> a couple nights ago, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine yeah, the yeah, surprise yeah. on how I felt when I was informed. <laughs> on your own soil. <laughs> Probably yeah. some of the most beloved animals Ever in American culture, Ever. you know what I mean? Besides, like in horses and the eagle. No, in history. In history, yeah, bro. bro but yeah, I talked to Kodak Black. Trump told me, <laughs> told America, and he didn't say Haitians. Sorry, I kind of threw that on the Haitians because yeah, Trump he didn't did say throw that. that on Haitians, yeah, he yeah. said they are eating cats and dogs. They are in Springfield, Ohio, eating cats and dogs, which is a very weird place. I mean, if you're there and you're Haitian, welcome. But Haitians just sprouting. <laughs> To specifically eat animals is like the most yeah. like evil thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> like anything springing just out in the middle of nowhere to eat animals is pretty ridiculous. Yeah, there has to be some type of proof that this is happening. Yeah, uh, not really, but yeah. sorta, bro. Okay, so I actually did research. Of yeah, course, yeah, I did yeah, research. Of course you did. Yeah, and so there are a giant import of Haitians. About okay. 15, I heard also 20, I'm going to say 15,000 Haitians imported into Springfield, Ohio in order to like, you know. Like maybe helping out like or some type of refugee program. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I've seen a lot of TikToks mm. about people being like, Trump is crazy. Like Trump, <laughs> this is some of the craziest shit I've ever heard of. Yeah, They're, you're it's, saying it Haitians ridiculous. are eating cats and dogs. He didn't say that. He said they. They. <laughs> yeah, but he's referring to the immigrants yeah. of Springfield, the assumption Ohio. That, it's that, not Mexicans jumping over and ending up yeah, in Springfield, but Ohio. To say like, you know what I mean? Causation, was, correlation. I get what you mean. Go yeah, ahead. it was. It was in context of this very specific. Right, thing, right, right. You know, so Haitians. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. And I was kind of like, yeah, this is crazy. Mm. And then I searched the same thing on Twitter. Mm. Now, I don't know how many Haitians you have to see <laughs> to eat a cat or dog. But Trump might be pointing at something that could be an issue. Okay. So... TikTok, X, formerly known as Twitter, are not viable sources. You know what I mean? Like, they have a lot of information. It's still media. Yeah, yeah. So, they did fact check, I believe, during the thing, that, during the debate, or maybe after the debate, that there's no credible source of these crimes being reported. What do you want? Uh, probably that one. Okay. Well, we're just going to taste test both of them and switch them. So we both get the taste of both of them. That's the new rule I made up just now. <laughs> hey, wait, how come mine doesn't have a pull tab thing? How do I open oh, this? You. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, I forgot I put it down. Oh, my gosh. How silly. Yeah, oh, you, like, pull the tab open. Oh, my gosh. We're drinking was... some basil seed melon flavored drinks. That's weird. Oh, and or mango flavored. Have you ever had a basil seed drink? I've never had a basil seed. I hope I'm not allergic. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's a real. You know what I mean? You know, that's a real. I'm probably not, real word. but it's also um, one of those. Have you ever things. had chia seeds before? Chia seeds? Yeah. Mm, have we? They're really healthy for you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. I should be all right. They're pretty similar. I think chia seeds are just better. Mm. Um, chia, chia. Yeah, but the idea with them is you're not supposed to eat them dry or you'll die or choke. That's what Hyla's worried about. They're not dry. They've been soaking in liquid for like days, hours, months, you know? But if you eat just the seeds like dry, they will expand with the liquid and you'll suffocate. Yeah. Bottoms up. (laughs) (laughs) 
it's like more milky than I was expecting. This is the consistency. I'm a really big fan of the seeds. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay with them. I, I could do without them. Melon was a really tame flavor to get. Yeah, this one's a bit more on the sugary side. Yeah, because we also got a watermelon one. And it was super sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this one, the me- melon just isn't a very sweet thing. Yeah, yeah. So it kind of it balances really well. That's good. Yeah. All right. You said we're supposed to switch. That was part of the rule that you made up before this. You said, so we both get to try it. <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so no credible sources, but that does sound crazy. Yeah. It sounds like well, some, I mean, bro, I've like, seen videos. Like the, the, I'm the telling swamp. you, I've seen videos, bro. Okay, the videos you saw on Twitter. Yes, i seen the videos, yeah, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. of yeah. people cutting animals up on the street. They happen a, to be of, dark. Of a, okay. Of dark complexion. <laughs> okay. Like butchering cats. A cat. You know, it wasn't like they had a line of cats. Yeah, yeah. But like I saw a dude, he had a box, and he was in a parking lot. It looked like an apartment complex. And he looked of Haitian descent, and he had a, a, a flat box on the ground, and mm-hmm. it was a fucking... F- half flayed cat and he was just chopping down on it with the axe and someone was just recording from like their doorway oh you get silence in the studio please <laughs> we can only hear us yeah so butchering this cat which yeah. is terrible. I mean, like, it was already dead, but you know, you got to fillet I mean, it and hearing, stuff. No, you don't have to, first of all. Well, to eat it, yeah, you got to skin it and de- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You know? But getting past the point where that is actually insane. That is very insane to have happen. You're saying, if you, you like shrug your shoulders, like if you saw it, you wouldn't be like, this world is going to hell. You wouldn't feel mm. no type of way. No, bro. No. That's evil. Not about that someone eating evil. a cat, no, bro. That is, I can't even think about it, bro. If somebody ate their, like, personal pet i'll be like that guy is disturbed yeah, you know I'm what i'm saying? saying yeah 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 a foreigner or somebody where they are from is normal to eat specific animals or any animal or having to do like the grimy part yourself mm. because we're pretty pampered as far as like getting our oh meat yeah for sure cut chopped like d everything like it has, it just is like the perfect slab of meat, and we don't even we be cutting off the fat off that and stuff. Mm-hmm. People be having to skin their stuff, take the fur out and whatnot. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. So our realities are just not like the same as they, everyone yeah, else's. Yeah. I don't see animals that different from one like from each other. You know? Okay. Like if I had a pet cow, I would not want you to try to kill or eat that cow. You know what I mean? But I have no personal issue with anyone eating cows anywhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I honestly don't give a damn about how they kill the like. Well, I a little bit. They're doing yeah, it like yeah, yeah. we're gonna skin them slowly. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, like, bro, yeah. why? That's that's inhumane. Yeah, <laughs> I'm of like, course. what's the what's the you know? <laughs> it don't get you no more yeah. nothing. But like, I don't have a problem with people eating cows. Is what okay, really so saying. so circling back, you, or cats. So you saw these videos. Yeah, and, and I was like, damn. Mm-hmm. I, that's like they damn they're doing that out there, and they're also it's not just cats and dogs. That was just the big buzzer thing because Trump said it during a debate. Yeah, yeah. Which is just a wild, crazy thing to a sentence to formulate at all. You know, yeah. They're eating yeah. cats and dogs in Springfield, Ohio, is a crazy thing to say. So it's fun to go talk about, but like, but like, what's literally happening out there? It's a kind of I don't know situation hmm. because they're claiming no reports of it happening. But then you see footage of people crying out in their city being like this immigration problem is serious and they're doing weird stuff like going to the ponds and killing ducks and stuff or grabbing them by the necks and deheading them. And they're doing like these city council meetings and stuff, and people are coming up and saying these. Maybe everyone's lying, you know. Maybe all of those people who went up to those meetings and stuff is lying, and they yeah, all got yeah, a yeah. weird agenda against Haitians. 
it just kind of felt unlikely a little bit. Like yeah. it was a lot, and then also seeing it too, you know. Yeah. Um. Even if they aren't eating your personal pets and all that, and all even if they aren't eating wildlife around mm-hmm. you, there are, I guess, in a lot of homeless Haitians now. Yeah. Just flooding a, a random areas and stuff, and that has kind of caused its own issue. I of seen course. a woman. Talking about like her whole area and block is flooded down with homeless people, regardless of race, and she just can't leave like her house. Whoa! Call, calling to attention to the situation there, yeah. was that ever talked about in the debate? Like, hmm. so the people just speculate he's referring to this, but he name drops a place, mm-hmm. says there is some level of catastrophe happening over there that's not being discussed. And you take a deeper look, and now we're having a conversation. Okay, what is it really looking like in, what was it, Springfield, Ohio? Mm-hmm. And that's interesting, because I would never have even thought about that place. Unless, of course, this got brought up, like the way that it did, saying cats and dogs. Cause that's the first thing I'm listening Damn. to. But diving deep into it, it's like, this is a homeless crisis about people who are in a potential refugee program to get away from this type of havoc. But you're only affecting... You're not even assisting at this point. You're affecting two worlds and putting them all together and trying to make almost like this melting pot, but it turns into situations rather than solutions. It could have been like a major Kanye moment, bro. Somebody, listen, bro, I'm going to explain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Somebody with the intent of the Jewish people who happen to have these jobs are taking from black people who happen to have these jobs mm-hmm. and why mm-hmm. the idea is right your verbiage is insane of course yeah. Haitians are immigrants or they are eating cats and dogs is an insane statement and you sound like an insane person yeah if you were to be like there is a crazy homeless crisis and like they're not handling the imports of Haitians mm-hmm. in Springfield Ohio correctly and then let people go look at it themselves and being like oh what's happening here some people are gonna be like oh they're eating cats and dogs and then also like the freaking issue at hand yeah, you know yeah but you don't just come out and say the craziest thing ever <laughs> because you sound crazy you yeah, know you could just say the point <laughs> yeah yeah and that would say the for issue a, you know? a debate about this is under your administration and they yeah. go back and forth but i haven't had an opportunity to watch the debate at all yeah um i've heard like bits and pieces people are like Kamala just completely yeah. burned him, destroyed him, and he doesn't want to do a second one. Yeah, this is like I watched it, and this is what I got. Like these are like the highlights, mm. you know. So that's the first one for me. Ohio cats, dogs. I got a cat. It hit home for me personally, you know. Of Ohio. So like that <laughs> that news, like I had to research that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. You the have next, a, the you next have a stuff. Deep to Springfield, Ohio. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I caught my first fish. <laughs> They're taking it away from us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because you love your cat. <laughs> All right, bro. Yeah, trying to get likes, huh? Yeah, on this video. <laughs> um. So, the next thing that he said mm. was that. We all know Kamala is a Marxist. Her dad was a Marxist. She's following up just like her dad. She's a Marxist and she follows Marxism. What is that? <laughs> I feel like I've heard it before, but it yeah, would, it's it kind of be... like one of those words like capitalism. Yeah, yeah. and I don't even know what a com- anti-Semitic. I, I don't even know what communist is, bro. Communism, yeah, yeah it's like yeah. one of those words. I know it's like no. some regions, like like Russia. I'm aware that, yeah. at least I think I'm aware of it. Yeah, what's the, fuck? I had the dude's name in my head all day. It's a dude's name, like it's something. Oh, I know what you're talking about. He was Russian too, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. Can you look up a Marxist, and it should just pop up his name. What is yeah? What is no? Nah. Be what it is. Yeah, Marxism is like you. You you're, you're right, no, your ideas. <laughs> it's just it's not, bro. All right, bro. You say you didn't know what it was. Bro, my, I told you I didn't know his name. It's like John Marx or something like that. Whoever the guy that the mm. idea, but he was an economist. Whatever they do, bro. <laughs> he worked in the economy. You know what I mean? He worked in the economy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he had a job in the economy, right? <laughs> 
So Mr. Marx had a job in the economy. <laughs> yeah, man. And what he believed was like, so capitalism, big guy gets paid a lot of money, little guys do all the work. Mm -hmm. He believed that this Marxist stuff, the mm. little guys should have more power and money in it because they are the ones that are actually producing and making all the money possible. Right. You know? Right. Mm -hmm. So they should have equal share in it. So like the Amazon workers should be, be being paid closer to what like the managers and Bezos and all them presidents mm -hmm. and stuff. Uh, that's his idea. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. Marxism. Yeah, that's not too bad, but I mean, I don't know it on like a large scale. Obviously. Yeah. You know Every, I, mean? I only hear people be like, it doesn't work in um, like in practice. In <laughs> yeah, theory, yeah. it sounds yeah. nice, but yeah. you. Because yeah. like pe like people in Norway, like their dollar is taxed fifty percent. So you make one dollar, fifty fifty. You government, oh, right? Wow. Yeah, but it's reported in one of the happiest places on earth. Mm. When I searched it up back in like twenty eighteen ish, yeah. you know, and everybody is like they're covered. Everybody has the same mm. like agenda. It's good for the people. You know what I mean? As compared to you know, obviously, I mean every place is gonna have their flaws. I don't want. I don't like taxes to be real i feel like i get taxed a lot for some reason mm. and i don't know there's nothing different in my life except that i don't got five or six hundred dollars that yeah. my check sound supposed to have yeah well Which, i mean like other I mean, than like know. the actively running tax fund the things like schools and like the lights and yeah but you could have stuff. like you could have a super totally racist like old white woman on social security and yeah. you would be paying for her to just live on and, yeah. and terrorize people. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you want like a vibe interview. Yeah, to yeah, see yeah. If you could... Where is my money truly going? You yeah. know what I mean? Because it does go to the police. It does go to the politicians. Yeah. Where it doesn't go is maybe in my area because they haven't started the construction there yet. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. I don't know what it has to do with taxes too much. Yeah, sorry. But it's more just like just businesses. Saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. Of course, like practices... Yeah. What's good for the economy and people are going to have their opinions on there yeah. either way. So I, I don't know how that works when you got to pay the, uh, the small guy just as much as you do. And you get when you found the idea. Yeah. You yeah. hire some guy on. <laughs> you got to split it. I mean, I can see pros and cons to it. I think if the ultimate goal is, hey, even though I started it, we're all going to participate in it. And it's going to grow and we're all going to eat together. We're all going to make money. Yeah. That part sounds nice to me. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. I would say if the work is different, like let's say, yes, you're one of like the smaller guys and all you do is like staple papers all day. And I got to be in phone calls. I got to go places, meetings, things of that nature. I don't think I should be getting paid the same as a guy who staples papers together. Cause mm. yes, he does something for this yeah. and he does make it, He's important, right, yeah. to a degree. Yeah. <laughs> and in terms of growing the business, like, it's, what why is he here? <laughs> <laughs> I can just do that. Yeah. But I'm obviously giving like an example, just to like exaggerate the example. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why I don't get in that. Yeah. You just got Mark fired. <laughs> like, why does Mark sit back there and staple? <laughs> He's got a whole job. <laughs> He's just been doing it for 20 years, getting away with it. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm sorry. You guys needed me. <laughs> It'd um, be crazy if. But she's not, bro. She's not a Marxist. Yeah, yeah. I don't think. I also, you know, I don't even know if that's like inherently bad to be like, oh, I think it that sounds would be cool. bad. Like yeah. if I didn't, well, I didn't know actually. Marx yeah. sounded like you were kind of like super crazy on one end, you know, like yeah, it you want like everything it. your way, that way. Yeah, but I mean, it's, if you someone's like you're a communist, I don't know what that means. Right, right. But like, right. I'd be like, whoa, this <laughs> you, is a don't, lot. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know me. You don't know me at all. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'd be pretty. But yeah, I could yeah. be a fucking communist, bro. Like I could look it up and <laughs> be like, was, ah. yeah. Could we look up? Yeah, what, bro. Yeah. See, what do you mean? <laughs> nah, you might be one too, bro. Nah, it's, man. It's gotta always be open, been associated bro. with some. It's like, yeah. Yeah. What if it's like a well endowed man? Yeah, nah, dude. <laughs> You're like, hell no. <laughs> I'll never be a communist. <laughs> I'll never be confident in myself. It could also just be like a neo Nazi or something. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like yeah. Just the range is crazy. Huh? A classless society? Classless society? Yeah. Wait, what did you look at? 
Communism? Okay, I forgot the word we asked for for a second. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't sound like a bad thing, bro. Practice though, because so we are communists. Nah, I mean, or do you think people are like ranked like? Yeah, we're better than. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah? No, I'm saying what? What is the? Is there a picture of it? The goal, like a pyramid. (laughs) Man. I don't know how insults work. <laughs> I don't know nothing about economics. Just so as a I don't, goddamn communist, bro. Been you been thought you were like Satan, bro. Yeah, I've been brainwashed to believe that what capitalism. Would you want to share wealth among <laughs> all humans? <laughs> you, <laughs> what you, you want everybody to get paid the exact same way for the work they do? <laughs> no, you're a capitalist <laughs> person. I'm like, oh, yeah. shit. Damn. I didn't think, I thought cap- being capitalist is better. Like if someone's like you're a capitalist, yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. Gotta, yeah but yeah, a communist start. sounds like Yeah, dude. Like, like I'm you're like in a bunker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With a rifle. Yeah. Man, but also, to be fair, commie. Americans are dumb. Like that's like a known thing. Yeah. I remember watching um an episode of the Flagrant podcast. Yeah. And they Andrew had like, Schultz. Yeah, exactly. Crazy haircut. Uh, I dig it. And they had like somebody come in there who was like ex CIA, and I didn't see the names or verification, but let's just conversation sake. It was ex CIA, ex FBI, yeah. and was like, "What's the easiest country to infiltrate?" And he was like, "Probably Americans <laughs> or America, U.S. I should say, <laughs> not everybody here, because <laughs> Americans tend to think so highly of themselves, and like they're easy to like kind of let their ego talk and stuff. Mm. So blending in wouldn't look." anything crazy if you just maybe talk about yourself you know wow yeah and you and then andrew was like hell yeah we're number one <laughs> and he was like right there yeah. that's why you're easy to yeah. manipulate this is that brown guy with the curly hair yeah yeah, yeah who yeah. doesn't look like a cia no you know? looks like see because like i think cousin. i'm better than him like you're just some <laughs> brown guy with curly hair <laughs> but you're not even a communist <laughs> <laughs> yeah got me yeah bro. that'd be crazy i seen that episode yeah he was on Joe Rogan too. Cool okay. guy. Don't know his name. <laughs> he's wow, <good>. he's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, he got yeah. both of us. And so, smoke bomb. Being called Marxist, that was that was crazy. You know, that would if I'm watching, I'd be like, I don't trust her. <laughs> yeah. Hearing these words, I don't know the meaning yeah. to. But obviously, I should do well due diligence, research, yeah. make sure I'm making an informed decision. <laughs> but a that Marxist. but that knee jerk reaction though, I said Trump is really good at that. Like mm-hmm. entertaining, getting a reaction. Like I could see the appeal why people like him. Yeah. Obviously there's gonna be some differences as to what's being practiced and well, your moral compass and things in that nature. Yeah. Uh next claim. Mm-hmm. They want to abort babies late term and after delivery. He used the word execution, like they want to execute babies. Like he's like it's after the birth, like they essentially want to execute them. Like yeah. And nobody's assuming that means anything else, right? Like everybody's like he yeah. means execution, like not so, like guillotine, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I understand, but I'm saying, yeah, I'm trying to figure out how he talks, man. Yeah, no, he said execute, like, he's trying to use a a harsh word, obviously. Yeah, of course, yeah. But he's trying to point out, he's trying to accuse them of wanting to pass bills, laws, whatever you want to, whatever those things are called, um, (laughs) for people to be allowed to do late-term abortions and, like, after-birth abortions, which I've never heard of. That's never, that. It's moida. That's <laughs> straight moida. You moided. <laughs> you can't be doing that, man. It's crazy. I never heard of that last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you moided yeah. him. Like, that's not. You can't be doing that to babies. That's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, that it's is a criminal, a, actually. Yeah, um, after birth is. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even so, know how you like talk to somebody about that. Like, there's no way you could like try to recycle a baby. You know what I mean? Like, you're just here, like, mm, nah. <laughs> you carried them for nine months. That's how a do crazy you concept. how do you handle that? Because at least the other, you know, I don't know actually. <laughs> but like after it's already out, how do you handle that? Yeah. Like, how does that? 
conversation go? goes? No, the action. Like, what action? Action, like, to get it off? To get it gone, bro. To get it, Dude, yeah, I to get it gone. No, I have no idea. I, I couldn't even tell you. Because <laughs> that's... I didn't want to think about it, actually. It's terrible. That's why I'm like, I don't know how to word that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, the, yeah. Yeah. How do you follow through with what he's saying is happening? Yeah. Or has maybe been practiced and could yeah. be practiced. Like, what the fuck is it after? Not only what the fuck is it, but like how would you even go about that? Like, none of the other, like, processes could be applied. Yeah. After the fact. You know no, what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I don't think. I, I don't know if there's, like, a shot. Or like a pill or something, but like into the yeah, like like how you put yeah. dogs down, you know what I mean? That could very much be. I have, I highly doubt it. <laughs> but that could very much be possible in his world. He could be thinking oh that we just God. have these on supply. Yeah, and that is has that insane. ever happened? I have no idea. Go ahead. There was a girl who she's like a teenager. Mm. She's like Yeah, and she, and she threw it away. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Threw yeah. Away. yeah, yeah. That was really that was crazy. That was brutal. Yeah, and then she got called out by like the nurses and stuff, mm. and they're like, "You fucking killed your." Like, yeah, they weren't being nice to her at all. Mm-mm. Like, there was no like, it didn't feel like sympathy towards her. Like, they were like, "Hell no." Nah. Yeah, but, yeah. That's but I don't. I would be kind of torn up in it, huh? I mean, that's that's if you want to use the term abort, it, you know, if it's already yeah. out. No, he's trying to say they're moiting babies. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're not listening? <laughs> like, yeah, he's, yeah, he's saying that Kamala and her team want to pass laws to do late abortions and after birth abortions. What law did he, what law was that? I don't know. I looked it up and Just she something. never said that. Okay. Yeah. It, she advocates for late term abortions with like specific with like specific uh, not scientific but like conditions. specific like uh medical conditions or yeah. issues. So if it's in danger to your life, yeah. if you're gonna die, or if the baby is already going like going to pass mm. or if incest or a non consensual situations, mm. stuff like that. Those are okay, but late term abortions aren't like you can yeah. just do that regular, you know? What yeah, I mean? which yeah. is already something that she was advocating for. Like that was already part of the agreement. It's yeah, you can't do that part, but obviously, if these circumstances, and then she goes on to claim that Trump's version of it is not as like it's just nothing. You know, so some people believe that it's bad overall and nobody can do it at all, despite like incest and like mm. unconsensual situations. Yeah. You know? That's so crazy, man. Like, just how, because people do think that one is right over the other. And obviously, you can have your opinions, but the person in that situation is the one that suffers the most. You know what I mean? And I could, well, I said I could see, but. Him making those claims and just the reaction that you get out of it, it does make you feel like you can trust one person over the other ones. Like, oh, I don't want to listen to this lady. She's planning some evil stuff about this, you know? But if you take the time to, like, really look into it, uh, some people might do, some people won't do. Thankfully, Sincere does. You'll come out with some really interesting facts. That whole thing about... I don't know. If, like for me, I'm I'm pro choice, so I should probably just, <laughs> that's what I believe in. Yeah, and that means like they could just yeah they could yeah, decide. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 of course. Okay. Yeah, because I, mean, I wasn't. Yeah, I was. I wasn't there. I don't know what situation. That's you. Like yeah. you're a grown. You know what's yeah. best for yourself. You know? that's just yeah, that's your stance. And then yeah. the other side, like to me, has never really fully made sense. You know, because there's because I understand that people want babies to be born. You know they. Like they're innocent. Like I understand that concept, yeah. but having them be born into a world that doesn't care about them, you know what I mean? Because there's more. 
there's a lot of conflict after birth that I feel like one party just completely ignores, you know? Like, maybe this is me. Mm. But I feel like for Trump's side is they care about the baby up until it is born, and then after that it's like you're on your own. I could very much be wrong. That's the feeling I get from it. So I tend to stay away more from politics because it feels like I'm going to be like misled either way. But I probably should do my part and we should all vote and yeah. go to jury duty together or something. So Lil Wayne was not picked for the Super Bowl in New Orleans, in Louisiana, his home city, his home state. Um, he just now recently released a video expressing how he felt about it. Mm. And have you seen that video? Mm-mm. He just expressed that he is very sad and he is, yeah, he's just very sad to hear that he wasn't picked, but he's still glad to hear about all the people that stood up for him and it made him feel better, mm. even though he felt like shit at the time because mm. he was really hoping to get picked. Yeah. Um Yeah, how do you how do you feel about that? I think he should have got picked. Yeah. Yeah. I think it sounds nice. Is Boosie up there? Boosie, what do you mean? Is he on like the list at all? To go up there? Yeah, yeah. No, no one thought about Boosie. Just thought about him. Yeah? Yeah. Wayne Baton first. Rouge, Louisiana. It's not his city. Oh, who am I thinking of that's from Louisiana? Boosie is from it's a different part of Louisiana. I'm just saying, is New Orleans is where he's like, is where Lil Wayne is from. Who else is from New Orleans? It doesn't matter. Mm. But Lil no one Wayne. bigger than yeah, Lil yeah, Wayne. Yeah, yeah. You know what of I mean? course, Lil Wayne has def. He's a Hall of Famer. Yeah, for sure. He's been he's been a football fan forever. I think he was part of like maybe like an LA team, but still, you know what I mean. He's, he was on the show with, uh, not uh, with Skip Bayless. That football show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And with Shannon Sharp, they had like low exclusive talk. Yeah, also so he people are aware as to who he is. I mean, how could you not? And people there and the sport they have and the love for, they have for Lil Wayne, uh, that's pretty shocking, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But also, it's like, what's going to sell more? You know what I mean? And right, I, I believe just kind of like stuff I've seen is like, they're calling it like the. Not Kendrick as like a battle rapper, but like the beef that they had. They said, oh, NFL selects, selects, NFL mm. halftime show picked Kendrick amid Drake beef. Like some type of headliner like that is what I've been seeing. But there's no reason why you shouldn't go with Lil Wayne. Yeah. He has good songs that a lot of people enjoy. Him and Kendrick up there would be crazy. I'm hoping it's like a surprise, you know what I mean? Yeah, they got songs together and stuff yeah, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that would be best outcome for right, sure. Right, right, right. There are conspiracies on like why this hasn't Jay happened. Jay-Z. <laughs> <laughs> you called yeah. it Rockefeller himself. Um, so a couple other points about this though. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Super Bowl has happened in New Orleans 10 times. Yeah. So... He's never been chosen for any of those times. But context around those, because a lot of people throw that out. Mm -hmm. The all of those were like in the fucking seventies, eighties, nineties. Yeah. And the the only ones that were close were two thousand two and then what was the other one? Two thousand fourteen, was it? Or two thousand thirteen. Yeah. So two thousand two they had U two, which is like some rock band. Yeah. You know them? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they had them go up there. And then in 2013, they had Beyonce, a special reunion, Destiny's Child. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, None of these are like rap groups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and also, it was 2002. Lil Wayne wasn't popping in 2002, not nationally, not mm-hmm. to the point that he needs to go hit like a Super Bowl stage. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. He like his biggest, like his first national hit, I think, was Lollipop. Not, yeah, not yeah, even yeah. I think. Like it's kind of numbers. Right, right, right. Yeah. And that's on the Carter three or four, mm. which is also like his first, like 
globally, but definitely nationally noticed record. Right. Um, which, when did that fucking album drop? Uh, sorry, my notes are. Isn't Lil Wayne your like? Goat? The Carter Three dropped in two thousand eight, bro. Is that is that your goat rapper, Lil Wayne? Yeah, my personal yeah, yeah, favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah rapper. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's kind of it seems pretty sad. Like now I understood oh, yeah, why he, like, sure. he's distraught about that. You know, the mm. opportunity wasn't there. They weren't doing hip hop back then, right? Uh, but now they are. Like they're doing yeah, a lot yeah, yeah, more yeah. hip hop. Uh, featured artist on the Super yeah. Bowl, I guess. And it's nothing against Fucking like Kendrick Lamar. Obviously, man. Kendrick. You know, what I mean, like he's bringing them in is a great idea. Yeah. And I think you have an opportunity to do something special. And I think if if I'm watching it and I and I see people like petition, Wayne should be up there. We can communicate with them. You know, maybe get some type of surprise there. Isn't the Super Bowl every year? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, and so. If I'm noticing that there's people who are willing to pay to see him and this person, because, I mean, they're execs, right? Oh, cool. Let's get him on then because people are going to pay to see him. Yeah. Like, Kendrick makes sense just because of the summer was pretty much everybody was just talking about him and Drake and, like, they could see who the the people are deciding. (laughs) Yeah. I'm with the culture (laughs) feeling. Yeah. Do you know why people are blaming Jay-Z? Well, I think because he owns the NFL or like some aspect of it, maybe. Okay, why are they blaming him? I'll tell you exactly why they're blaming okay, him. Okay, well. So, could just conspiracy. Mm. So, Jay Z owns Rock Nation, right? Yeah. Rock Nation became a partner with the NFL yeah, yeah, in, yeah. Two, in 2019. Right, so this is this is even after the Beyonce and the yeah, yeah. fucking reunion and stuff. So, this is in. 2019, so this is the only Super Bowl since when they started doing, they didn't start doing hip-hop features until Rockefeller took over yeah. in 2019. Man, they were upset when Jay-Z announced it in the NFL. It was a crazy time to have said that. Yeah, so they partnered to help produce a Super Bowl halftime show, so just mm. that. Yeah, yeah. So I guess they're like, you guys are black, you guys know culture, help us throw parties in the middle of our thing, you know? Mm-hmm. And so they booked up with Jay Z. The reason people think that Jay Z is like blackballing or denying this opportunity for Lil Wayne is because of an old diss that they had back and forth. So Jay Z said to Lil Wayne um, something along the lines of, "That's." Not your money. That like that's baby money. That's baby's money. So yeah, yeah, yeah. baby is Lil Wayne's mentor, person who put him on, uh, manager almost mm. sorta, uh, owner of like the record label and shit like that. Kind of who put it all so together. Birdman. Birdman. Okay. His, name, his nickname is Baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Birdman. <laughs> the respect <laughs> of my name, dude. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um. So. He pretty much said that Lil Wayne doesn't have money. That was Birdman's money. Yeah. Lil Wayne responded back on a song called It's Good on the Carter Four. And he said, uh, he said, talking about baby money, uh, kidnap your bitch, get that how much you love your lady money. So he was referring to Beyonce. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's no subtle points. It's very much like, I'm going to kidnap him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of crazy, yeah. Yeah. So it was like, oh, you like, what? You said I got baby money. And like, we'll see how much you love your baby money. Like, which is a pretty, he, he won that, well, you know, the little <laughs> s- squabble they had. Yeah, Lyrically, yeah. and it sounded way better, too. Yeah. Lil Wayne was rapping. This shit was on the Carter Four too. Great album. <laughs> <laughs> um, really bit back, I guess. Because at first, I thought this was just... People just wanted to stir the pot. I thought maybe Kendrick and Jay were just cool, maybe, by chance. You know? And then, of course, Drake and Lil Wayne. If mm-hmm. you're with Drake, you're with Lil Wayne, he's not going to go in. They're not going to go in. 
I didn't realize how bad Lil Wayne wanted this opportunity. Mm-hmm. I didn't see how many clips back in like 2023, back in like tw- like years ago, mm-hmm. of him being like, like mentioned like, hey, Super Bowl, like. Like it'd be like I know the Super Bowl and is coming up yeah. in New Orleans. It'd be crazy if they didn't choose me. I was born there, <laughs> and just like keep throwing it out yeah, there. And yeah. as like a legendary artist to kind of like be begging for something that's like everyone else is also like, yeah, you should get this. Yeah, and then it gets snubbed from under you. Is it's kind of it's kind of odd, and I think people, even me, are having a hard time grasping. That they just happen not to choose Lil Wayne, that it's not like a direct choice yeah. of like ha ha <clears throat> checkmate type of thing. Mm-hmm. Like it gotta be Jay Z fucking things up because no one normal with good production like who wouldn't want the audience to not be angry because you could have had a no one would have batted an eye if a Lil Wayne performed at the Super Bowl for New Orleans. You know, yeah, it wouldn't have been you wouldn't have cared at all. Because we don't watch the Super Bowl half times. We don't watch the Super Bowl. You know? Bro. I mean, yeah, I guess throw everybody there. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Sorry, bro. You don't, bro. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, bro. half of Americans do, actually. <laughs> Just, but you're not nah, now. Yeah. <laughs> Just, we're all like into uh, the World I, I Cup could and see stuff. For, I could see for like numbers perspective and what's like feels current, clearly. Yeah. Kendrick's there just because. Of the beef, obviously, it's like on everybody's mind. <laughs> All of us are thinking about it every day. <laughs> so, Little Wayne has, if he's been blackballed or snubbed out for any personal vendetta, that is actually insane to think of. Like, because yeah. there is a motive, clearly. Like, I don't mess with this dude, I don't have to have him here. Yeah. And I could still make a great show without him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's yeah, that's a good point. The other point is, you have somebody who brings a, a massive amount of fans who's obsessed with the sport, and has also petitioned to be part of not petitioned but like advocated, <laughs> advocated for himself to be part of this show for years now. It just feels like it feels like there's no way you didn't hear it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm just curious to see what happens because i'm because it's so super bowl is like the season just started football you oh, know yeah. so they still got time to make whatever cuts adjustments stuff because that yeah. stuff happens all the time you know i see all the time i don't know i'm not behind there with jay-z like nah don't put him on <laughs> yeah yeah but hopefully Rock Nation. yeah hopefully you know it'd be great to see lil wayne perform yeah i i do think it would be great to see him perform. Mm. I do think Kendrick is a way better performer. Mm. Um, just like an artist level. Oh Kendrick yeah. Kendrick does kind of supersede. Like he's just mm. more artistic, visually. Yeah, storytelling. Storytelling. Yeah. Probably Even storytelling. Yeah. It's just like it's a different type of artistry. Mm. And the production is gonna be way better. It's gonna be something to remember more for sure. Mm. Other than just like, oh, it's his hometown. This is fun. We're going to have fun with Lil Wayne. Yeah, I would yeah, have yeah, tons yeah. of fun, you know? Yeah, yeah. But like the spectacle of what Kendrick is probably going to bring is different. Yeah. Like that's been showcased. So that's going to be again. fun. So you don't want to take that away from him. Mm. He's a black man. Of course. Yeah. But the little like image they had, you see like the, like it looks like a cup, double cup, and then like some rings or like some jewelry. You haven't seen it? Uh-huh. Of about. Kendrick, it's just like it looks like a like an album cover, but they just have like if you're going down the stage, you know. I have to show you, man. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you went on your phone. You better see it. Anyways, doesn't matter. Go ahead. New Orleans is in Louisiana, situated along the Mississippi River. Good to know. Yeah, I think they say it differently. I don't think they say like New Orleans. Yeah, probably. Yeah. They probably say it with an accent. New Orleans. New Orleans? Yeah. I thought it was like New Orleans. Or is that, like, a, is that a different place? No, New, Orleans. New Orleans. What did I, New Orleans? Yeah, I was saying crazy. Yeah, the New Orleans. Yeah. New Orleans. New Orleans. Hmm, I wonder which one they prefer. Probably the first time to talk about them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. These Portlandians. 
Man, I wouldn't want to be referred to as a Portland Indian. Oh, yeah, but we don't call them New Orleans. I mean, true. New Orleanians. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's New Orleans. Are you a New Orleanian? Like, I'm not Oregonian. Yeah, you are. <laughs> don't call me that. <laughs> you are Oregonian. Yeah, I really got to use the bathroom again. Oh, like, well, are you saying you're done? I just got to use the bathroom. I don't know either, what that means. Like either like, I gotta come back or but I gotta use the bathroom. Though. So I don't know if we're done. <laughs> I mean, we could finish up, bro, if you want to. I don't. I, yeah, if we got to, you know. What, what do you mean if we got to? Bro? Like I don't you know just if you guys said are still that. gonna be here or what, bro. I just know I gotta. Hey, yeah, I don't know how long you're gonna be gone for. I That's don't know the either, thing. bro. Yeah. Well, I don't know how I'm gonna go about yeah. this. I was gonna do it casually. All right. Well, let's... I think I'm starting to sweat. Actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's do the let's do. <laughs> Let's do the outro. That way we could have it. And if you come yeah, back, we're no, still here. Sure. Okay. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to our episode today. We appreciate y'all staying tuned. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and that bell notification. Stay up to date with the videos we drop, when we drop them. I've been your co-host, Marcos. I'm sincerely the biggest host <laughs> of the Flyboat Podcast. <laughs> that boy is suffering. In peace. He's burning inside. <laughs>